In this video, we will look at the step to resolve event related issues in TrueSight Presentation Server. There can be many different symptoms of event related issues, such as events not present in TSPS but they are in TSIM, unable to close events in TSPS, deleted events still visible in TSPS, event status incorrect in TSPS compared to TSIM. We will now look at the steps to address this for the different TSPS versions. For TSPS versions 10.5, 10.7, 11.0, except FP3, and 11.3.01, here are the steps to resolve event related issues. Open a command prompt, stop the CSR process. Verify that it is no longer running by executing the server status command. Execute a properties list command and then do a find for the string event time tracked. You will see one event time tracked entry for each TSIM that has connected to this TSPS. In this example, I only have the one TSIM. We will set the value of this time tracked property to zero. Verify it's been set correctly, which it has. Now stop the TSPS server. Verify it's no longer running. Go to the install directory. Modules, Elasticsearch. Rename the data folder to be data. Underscore backup. That's where all the Elasticsearch data is. Start TSPS. Once it is up and it has reconnected to these TSIMs, it will retrieve all the events from those TSIMs. If the TSPS is running in HA, the steps are exactly the same, except for the first step, you would stop the secondary TSPS. And as a last step, you would start the secondary TSPS. So you'd make sure that the commands to reset the event time tracked property is all done on the primary TSPS. Here are the steps for standalone TSPS version 11.0 FP3 and 11.3.0.2 and higher. From a command window, verify that TSPS is running by executing the server status command. Execute command TSSH event reinitialize, key Y at the prompt. This is completed and TSPS is restarting. Once it is reconnected to the TSIMs, you will then see all the events. Here are the steps for HA TSPS versions 11.0 FP3 and 11.3.0.2 and higher. As a first step, go to the standby TSPS server. From a command window, execute TSSH HA status command and verify it is the standby node. Here it confirms it's the standby node. Execute command TSSH event reinitialize. Key Y at the prompt to continue. It resets the Elasticsearch data and stops this server. We now have to go to the primary TSPS. We are now on the primary TSPS. From a command window, execute the same command TSSH event reinitialize. It's verified it's the active node and it's also verified that the standby server is shut down. Key Y at the prompt to continue. That is now completed and it restarts the TSPS. Once the TSPS is active and the TSIMS reconnect, the events will be retrieved. Once this TSPS has become fully active, which can be confirmed by the TSSH HA status command, then the standby TSPS can be started. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.